where do your courage come from? Because I see that you have experienced a lot of different experiences. And that a lot of times people experience get burnt and then they run a hat in the cave and they're afraid and they never do anything. But it seems like you have been um, participating or involved with a lot of different life experiences and you just keep going. What, where do you get that courage from? That's a, a courage that I think I just inherited from uh, a strong family background of keeping up. You know, when you live on a farm and a drought comes and drowns all the crops, you could either give up and just have nothing or you could start strategizing then on, OK, we got to plant next year. So what can we do right now? to salvage what we can salvage out of this, and then how do we proceed next year, and then what can we put in place that in case another drought comes, that we might be able to save more than we were able to save this time. So you have to learn from every experience, good or bad. You have to learn how to pick yourself up and and move on. And I guess a lot of it, too, came from the stories that they told me of the car accident we had in 1952. I was just a little girl. I got thrown through the windshield of the car when they were pulling the wreckage apart. They assumed I was mangled in the wreckage and died. Uh, I was like four and a half years old. We had come from the, from the county fair. And so my dad had a brand new car, 1952 Pontiac Sky Chief. And, and so it was late in the morning. Well, they were doing that, but my dad wasn't giving up on the fact that his kid, his first kid, could not be gone. So there was a man, and sometimes you have to realize that sometimes we can't just turn away people who are just being nosy. Sometimes you got to pay attention to the nosy rosy. There was a little man standing over on the side as the people were working at what they told me, and he kept saying, there's something over there, there's something over there. Well. Finally, my dad walked over there. And when he walked over there, it was me, mushed and mangled. Um, and he grabbed me up and the people came and got me and they took me to the hospital. And I was unconscious for like 27 days. They had to completely redo everything about me. I was cut up, teeth broken out, all the whole, whole bag. But my grandmother sat by that bed, they said. She never went home home for the whole 27 days. She sat there to wheel me back to life. And so as they told me everything that I had been through, even at that early age, I knew that I had to continue to be strong and to show people that you can go through so much in your life. But if you have a faith, you have faith in God and you have people around you who care about you, you can get through anything. 